The Benjamin Dixon Show is only possible with listener support. Go to www.patreon.com forward slash the BPD show. Get it by now. Tell me what you learned in grade school. Give it to me like you want it. Did you forget that golden rule? Why is our love it one sided? It should really be give and take. Fill you up and leave me empty. Baby, was that my mistake? Cover any feelings. Going through changes. I'm just so mad right now. I can't even think straight. So I'm a judge. Tweet it and delete it. Knowing you won't read it. Before we get too far away, I need to clear my mind. Try to talk about it Our history says we'll just argue And I know you're gonna act a fool And then no one could tell the difference Between me and you, babe Watching from a distance Hiding these feelings Going through changes Mad but now it's at my own Know the voice, y'all know the sound. It's your boy James I'm Bubba Williams, fly. DJ Exclusive, is in the go. building. Good morning, everybody. Get your coffee, your tea, your liquor, your alcohol, whatever it is you need to get some morning started, y'all. Whatever your morning advice is, y'all go ahead and grab that thing. We're gonna rock y'all out for the next 30 minutes until like it or not starts, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Say it with your chest now. Say it with your chest now. Shout out everybody in the chat room. I see y'all this morning. Tyler Susan, good morning. Promises manifested. Iris Jones, Shelby Hall, Shoot the Dragon, good morning. Roller Dragon, what's up, Barbara Ewan, good morning. On and on it goes. Good morning, Susan. Emily Swamp, what's up, Brother Chuck Diesel. Artist working moderator in the building. What's going on, Brother Chuck? Susan Bradley, Tempers, good morning. Esther Brochin, what's up, Esther? Tiger, what's going on? Hollywood 2000, Brenda Johnson, Moon Meets. Miss Ruru, good morning. Luke Kang, man. Luke Kang, what's going on, brother? Melanie Dennis, what's up, DP404, Iris Jones. Damn, Miss Petal, what's going on? Mark S, everybody in the chat room this morning. Good morning to you all. Dragon, I appreciate you. Jill Potts, good morning. Teresa, good morning. It's 
say it with your chest now. Say it with your chest now. I'm young. I'm free. Can't nobody take me here and now. It's my time to ride it out. On and on it goes. How you doing? Brand, brand, good morning to you, brand, brand. What's going on? That's right, y'all. This is the year in review, photo review, anyway, right now. Miss Sophia, good morning. Juanita, buenos dias. Good morning to you. Yeah, hustle, what's up, bro? Tell him I need my money. Good morning. Right now. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Sorry to tell you, I know my value. My energy, my energy. I don't got much to be wasting all my energy. Only one of those, be careful out there. Let me get a piece of the moment. I don't know why it's the one for you. I thought we would be just fine. I thought your heart was like mine, but let me find out. You've been going around throwing shots, running plots. Come on, man. Trying to block my blessings. But no need for comparisons. From me won't be from me. Yeah, I'm a go. That's right, y'all. I'm giving y'all the greatest the hits from 2021. So pay me what you owe me for this morning, y'all. Tell him I need my money right now. Run me the juice, they stole out my crown. Sorry to tell you. My loyalty, I let you in back then because I couldn't see But now it's clear you ain't ever been true to me My intuition ain't ever lied, I had to leave Handle your business, do what you Susan, good morning, to get your revenge But you won't break me, God as my witness That's the point of no return, I'm on a mission Trying to block my blessings On and on it goes, yes it is Sometimes you bite the bullet in What's wrong me will be for me <laughs> yeah, I'ma go through just to go through. But pay me what you owe me for. I make what you've been saying about me true, true. Tell him I need my money right now. Tell him I need my money. Round me the juice, they stole out my crown. Told her start it up. I don't wanna see it from your eyes unless it's Cardi. Yeah, ran into my old chick. She said you ain't playing fair, playing fair, playing fair. No, I ain't playing fair, playing fair, playing fair. No, I ain't playing fair. Ask her why she staying there. She said she don't know. I had to ask some more, but I really had to go and get my bop on. Yeah, I get my bop on. If she needs some good, good, tell her she got hop on. She know I'm the top dog. I know she a hot one, but Lindsay's on the feet, and you know I got the socks on. Yeah, I get my bop on. Yeah, I get my bop on. If she needs some bug good, tell her she got hot on. She know I'm the top dog. I know she a hot one, but Lindsay's on the feet, and you know I got the socks on. Yeah, she said yeah. with my high socks, she ain't with no knock off. She know we gon' pop off, Uber getting dropped off, kicking in the door. We ain't knock on that ice on your feet, and you know it got the box. Throw 
Black Jam, y'all. Four Black Jam, y'all. Shout out to everybody in the chat room, man. Good morning, y'all. Make sure y'all stay tuned. Lily Wright. Didn't you see this ass? You thought 2020 was bad. 2020 was bad. I'm not seeing it. Albus, let me show you how you did it. Juanita says to everyone here, may you have a prosperous new year. May the new year bless you with health, wealth, and happiness. Love, Juanita. Juanita, thank you so much. We love you, Juanita. Red Red Z, Ushima, happy Kwanzaa, brother. And I'm gnashing my teeth. I feel the hunger too, but I stay loyal. You gotta get the package back to the boss before her blood boils. It's covered in foil, wrapped up tight. The only thing that satisfies her appetite. You gotta have it right. My love for her is crazy. I'll make it back safely and watch her face light up because it's that tasty. Coach, <laughs> I love you, mama. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hard worker, curse you but won't hurt you. Respecting good manners will get you a lot further. Things that my grandma would say after church service, the things I repeat to this day. Hard worth it. Eighties baby, that's who raised me. Mama had a boyfriend, but that was still my lady. And I could care less about the gifts they gave me. Put your hands on my mama, homie, I go crazy. Now that I'm older, I'm getting a little closer. Love only gets stronger. We talking a little longer. Was more than just a donor. My sister, brother, and father, strongest woman in my corner. I'm talking. About my mama, yes. If it wasn't for her, then it would not be me. I got nothing but love for all my mommies representing. If it wasn't for her, then it would not be me. I got nothing. 
nothing but love for all my mommies represent. Always gon' care for me, no matter what she there for me. From tutoring to therapy, my mama had the answers, G. Magician the dragon, the yes, I have. I've seen the Leave movie. my jacket at the park yeah, again, and that's an ass really beating. If that's she say no, then she mean no, she don't need a reason. Yeah, I always really had the be. latest kicks during tax season. Especially the chop with the office. Bully, that's my old lady. Man. Same woman, front row, yelling rap, baby. Yes, y'all. Y'all have not. Y'all make sure y'all see my daughter. Shout out to Grandma. She done raised a good father. When she was getting tougher, she told me to pray harder. And if she hit the number, she would get me every dollar thanks mama if it wasn't for her then it would not be me i got nothing but love for all my mommies representing if I will say that 2021 her, has no pass. Uh, no, I'm not not be me. Me. So, I say that. I got it's nothing damn, but love for all my mommies like represent. No matter what, for her baby, she gon' hold it down. Remember all the times when I was out here running wild, doing everything and anything to make a smile. I just love it when my mama say I make her proud. No matter what, for her baby, she gon' hold it down. Remember all the times when I was out here running wild, doing everything and anything to make her smile. I just love it when my mama say I make a proud Slide to the left, slide to the right Rock on it, baby, we can do the shot night Slide to the left, slide to the right Come on, come on, Mark come Mark, yes, you are not about to put me in this slide argument the But, the I mean, a lot of people consider it a Christmas movie But, uh, I guess, yeah Because everything happens during Christmas So I guess that's the thing that makes it a Christmas slide movie Slide to the left, slide to the right Rock on it, baby, we can do the shot night Stole it. Good morning to you. Let this be real inside. Slide to the left, slide to the right. Back like with me, baby. We can do the shot tonight. Slide to the left, slide to the right. Come on, come on, come on. Slide to the left, slide to the right. Back with me, baby. We can do the shot tonight. I hope y'all ready for this one. Like it or not, with Benjamin Dixon starts now. Is it my camera again? Tell it good. It's got that gangster lean. Okay. <laughs> okay, now I look like it's sitting up straight. It's not. I, yeah. Also, um, I don't really like sitting on the side, David. Um, but <laughs> wrong in the um, what you call it? I need to fix that. It's so ghetto this morning. Yeah, um, that's lean sitting off to the side too. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> It's so much happening here. You sound um, again on time. <laughs> um, David, do I have to fix my name at the bottom, or is that all you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. I know I, I just came in just crazy. How y'all doing this morning? It is what is it? Let me see. Tuesday. December no, we didn't do it. Go ahead. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's a little. I right. did it, but she was talking. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to a like it or not, where we're free to tell the truth. And not care who doesn't like it. This you morning, know, it used to take me so long to get that that stuff right, Rebecca. Yeah, you remember that? Because and it's okay because you you got it. You know, we, you right. got it. You <laughs> absolutely did. You came in and you was like, "I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that." I said, welcome, "Okay." And then one time for the uh, lower third, said, "Welcome to on the clock, though." <laughs> that is crazy. But shout out to a Georgia Ford on the clock, yes. eight o'clock every morning, right here on the Benjamin Dixon show. Um, but it is Tuesday, December 28th. We are three days past Christmas, and that means just about four days till the new year. 
<laughs> and so, listen, this year, you know, has gone by pretty quickly. And mm-hmm. I know it's been so much. I feel like we lived five lives from the different variants of like it or not in the just the year 2021 alone. Um, and we actually are totally different than what, who we were before. Right. Uh, so change happens super duper quick, especially when you are going through a pandemic. We have no time to just be um, sitting around twiddling our thumbs. And we have no time to just be the same person that we were yesterday. Um, But stay true to you at the core. And that's what we did. And here we are, like it or not, 2021 headed in 2022. My God, how you feeling, Bubba? I'm good, child. I was just, we talked about it earlier when I was playing. It was like 2020, uh, 2021 was a shit year. I'm just going to say it, man. This is the last show. I'm going to say it. It's a shit year. We thought 2020 was bad. 2021 came on and said, nah, sis, take a break. I got this. It's so crazy because I feel like 2020 was so cute in the beginning because we experienced 2020 real cute, right? Yeah. Everybody in the beginning was like, 2020 is the year for me. Right. A lot of people went to the churches. I had went out that year. Um, I met a guy in the beginning. Um, I actually wanted to quit. Uh, I had just started. The um, the job that I was working at and um, uh, that I still currently work at uh, for corporate, but I had just started with them and I wanted to. I already planned my getaway. I was going to do what Rebecca does all the time, start planning trips and quitting jobs that I don't mm. like really. I don't really do. Right. So, um, But then I, I had to buckle up. That baby, because I know the ride was gonna be like this. I was like, I'm going here, I'm going here. I am hosting this event, this event, because that's when I used to host a lot of Haitian events. I used to really go out three times a week. Mm-hmm. Three times a week, I was going out. Um, I was turning 30, all of that good stuff. Oh my god! And wow, so that's right. Your 30th was spent in the house. Yes, yes. It's yeah. a few millennials and everybody else, and I feel sorry for them. I was reading a few memes yesterday. It's just like. A lot of them weren't ready for this. Hell, I wasn't ready for this. And it's just like, here it is. You spent most of your 20s, child, the end of your 20s, the middle of your 20s, in the damn house. In the house. And, and you know what's crazy? Because we didn't know. Because remember, we started that whole conversation of when this is all over, right? So I was yeah. like, my best friend was like, you're not going to stay in the house and do all of that. you know. So we were literally still in the house. <clears throat> but we did... <laughs> Um, we, she surprised me. She was like, just, just, you know, make yourself happy and go book yourself an Airbnb at the time. Airbnbs because black folks, because people, because America, Airbnbs (laughs) were getting, um, what we're getting, um, very popular because they were like, we're going to do staycations if we can't go anywhere. So we weren't thinking, oh, oh, you know, this might be not the thing to do because somebody else's family was here just two seconds ago. But a lot of them were saying, oh, you know, we're putting time in between cleaning. We're doing extra cleaning, all that. Remember that happened? So I ended up getting a place in um, Atlanta and celebrating my birthday that way, bringing in my 30th with my two best friends um, and the guy that I had met at the time. Um, and it was actually really, really good. I can't mm-hmm. even lie. It was just us three. We went hiking. We had little bottles of champagne, um, and we took them up on Kennesaw Mountain. And <laughs> it's because that's my favorite thing to do was hike. So they were like, "Yeah, we're going hiking with Becky." So they we went hiking, had some champagne bottles on the top of the mountain, popping bottles. Listen, it, we had to do what we had to do. Okay, we made we right had in the house. I went and picked up some seafood, and we had a crab boil um, at the house. Uh, my sister uh, cooked some Haitian food and we had that. It was just like, you know, we made it do what it was going to have to do. And then I got right. dressed in the gown. She got dressed in the gown. And we literally just, that's when that song came out. Queen B, why not smoke with me? That was um the Megan Thee Stallion, the remix. The to, Savage, um, yeah, uh-huh. And we was like doing the dance routine at the house. It was crazy. <laughs> That's what we had to do. We had to make the best of what we got. And I think that we're still doing that. Well, yeah. Not everybody, but we're still finding ways to do that um, for human touch, for all of that. Like we are still finding ways. We're I, I saw a post that I did about a year ago, and I'm gonna repost it. A large group of people is still a no thanks for me. Yeah. It is still, it is still gonna be a no thanks for me. I need people to understand that. I don't think, and this is what's going to be a turning point for a lot of us millennials. I don't think that we are going to be in a place where we're ever gonna accept 
the club. Yeah. We're never going to accept the club as it used to be. <clears throat> we're never going to accept. Like, we're going to have to, if you can't get a section, if you got too many people coming into the section, if too many people are in this particular club, where is the lounges? Is there a place that we can go and just chill by the bar? You know, sons, the people, like, it's just, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, we are going to always think about where we're going, how it's going to be, what it's looking like, how many people, who are going to be there? Mm-hmm. Who are going to be there? Who are going to be there? <laughs> How many? How many? How, how many was, people gonna be there? there? <laughs> how many? How many? How many? Especially how many not y'all. Be there? Look, I already tell you. If they tell us we're going back on lockdown again, you remember when we first went on lockdown? You just used to think like, okay, I need to go grocery shopping. I need to get tissue. I need to get yeah. uh paper towels. Like all this Bro, stuff. Before the paper everything. was gone. Oh my before god! The paper was gone. Everything was gone. Now no. this part. Now if they tell us to go back on lockdown again, child, I'm skipping all of that. <laughs> I saw this yesterday. Uh, I'm going. I'm skipping right to the alcohol and the drugs. F it. everything else. That's I'm not going. To, <laughs> and you know what? You, we did this already. I'm good. Just we know. Just we already know. Over there. Yeah. The I'm weight good. that I gained <laughs> from alcohol. Um, my thirtieth rolled around, and everything was a little snug. I have photos of me in this beautiful peach dress, but I was, and you know, I was still slim, but everything was just real snug because I was throwing. I never drank so much. I drank and drank. And drank and drank, and I'm talking about <laughs> even types of liquors that I never even would hit. I'd be like, "We gonna start with the light alcohol in the morning, right. and then by the afternoon, all we doing champagne and wine, and by the end of the night, I'm on Haitian rum, maybe the mm. second bottle. Then I'm making another <laughs> trip in the morning before I clock into work to the liquor store. I never seen the liquor store be so packed, like." We were all like, wow, hey, what's up? Six feet, six feet. <laughs> How you right. doing? I'm going to step around you. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Some of them were actually, even the liquor stores were um, catering to us and our needs because the drive-thru was closed on one side, but then the the, the big liquor store was um, t- t- taking your orders from the phone calls and putting it out in a box for you to yes, grab indeed. and receive the money. Um, it, 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 we needed the drugs and alcohol. We all became alcoholics during the pandemic. We did. <laughs> At, yeah, we did. We At this point, did. y'all need to just go ahead and legalize weed because everybody that work from home, they smoke. Yeah. They smoke. And then, and then I mean, I don't, but um, a lot of people around <laughs> me were. And I feel like a lot of people who were, you know, selling from the house, they was making all the dollars. Hmm. They what? were making all the dollars. So... So that was the business to be in last it, it this year. It definitely was. It definitely was. And then, the, you know, we had to go places that were open, too. We had to figure out, okay, is this state open? Can I go here? Okay, so now it requires vaccinations. Who can I go with that is vaccinated? Um, you know, yeah. who can I go with that's wanting to get tested? Because some people didn't even want to get tested. It was so much drama surrounding the, the, the pandemic. But we made it through. We're going into 2022, two years in. And I feel like if you haven't gotten, I don't think we're ever going to get a real grip of ourselves, but if you haven't gotten to a place where you found what works for you in this particular time, I don't know, sis, because we got to make it to 2022. We're not going to give up. We're not going to be like, even if they shut it down. Remember when we were doing parties online? We were at the club online and we'd be in the comment section like, girl, I'm by the bar. We were using our imagination, y'all. Grown ass. You remember that? When the verses battle started? (laughs) We were using our full <laughs> imaginations to, to to feel like we were with people. And honestly, those were some good times. I can't lie. We did yeah. um we did uh we got together um for FAMU um homecoming stuff and we had like all the old DJs coming on and we were really lifting the DJ spirits because some of them said they haven't spent in years and then yeah. they got on and started spinning again and they were feeling the love from us because we were like oh shoot remember the set and then you know I'm over here I'm coming in with the bop y'all and everybody it was just crazy it was, right <laughs> it, it, was crazy. it resurrected a lot of DJs careers what's yeah. the DJ name uh the one that started at home stuff. Oh, 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 oh. Um, <sighs> y'all know who I'm talking about too. I, I know who you're talking about. And um, the one that Steve Harvey kept calling another name. <laughs> yeah, <I think> so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there were so many DJs that definitely got with me. What the hell is going on in this picture? 
the average about to ask David. I'm like, this, this, this B roll. David, just get it off. Get it off. <laughs> Someone just like, oh God. DJ Man, nice. DJ, DJ, DJ D nice. D nice. Yeah. DJ D yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> He kept calling that man um, nice. He's like, it's DJ D nice. Um, Mr. Nice. Right. So I forgot what uh, Steve was calling that man. That man was just like, that's not <laughs> my name. I'm a grown ass man. Like, get it right. But oh, I God. wanted to talk about um, real quick. I wanted to discuss a post that I seen. And I wanted to get your take on it, Bubba. It's mm. very interesting to me how conversations like this could arise. And um, I'm going to actually go over to it as I go try to find it on the internet. Um, but it has to do internet. with, um, it definitely has to do with student <clears throat> student loan debt or um, oh. getting um, getting scholarships. So a woman named Queen Kima on, um, you know, she posted to her Twitter and she says, uh, I hate when I see people crying about student loans and they ain't never applied for a scholarship. That's your fault. It was free to apply for scholarships. And if you didn't take advantage, so that's on you. Take accountability for your laziness. It's millions of scholarships out here. You have to exhaust your options. That's yeah. what I did. Time and research. Join programs and never <clears throat> give up. I applied for over 100 and I was awarded two. She applied for over 100. 100 and, and only awarded, awarded two. two. So that in itself is telling about the chances of actually getting a scholarship. Um, so I went to the internet because all it is a simple Google search. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, according to uh, savingforcollege.com, <laughs> the raw odds of winning a scholarship are about one in eight for a student in only a bachelor's degree program. Very few of these students will actually win a free ride of students in the bachelor's degree pro programs for just 2015 to 2016 only get 1.5%. Um, or only 1.5% got enough scholarships and grants to cover 100% of the cost of attendance. And that's for people who were looking mm -hmm. for 100% of the cost of attendance. And I believe if we add, um, I don't have those those statistics up, but I know if we add uh, things like color um, mm -hmm. and if we add things like um, years, uh, if we go back, scholarships weren't that easy to apply for and get. Um, and then if we look at... Um, so many other factors of where you're going to school at. Yes, um, I was about if, to say, Rebecca. You know, and if they're accepting of those those scholarships or whatever the case may be, there's so many factors that go into this. So it isn't just we're sitting around on our asses being lazy. There are also so many factors that go into it. And I can honestly say I applied to so many scholarships just to go to the number one HBCU in the nation, Florida A&M University, which I'm not even going to front at the time was going through an accreditation battle. Yeah. in that particular moment. So mm -hmm. even then getting a scholarship was tough. Um, you know, uh, even then looking for scholarships for minorities wasn't even something that was actually taught to you by your guidance counselor. Mm -hmm. I had to have the music, the black music teacher um, uh, and the sci black science teacher come together to create a black group for us to go look at HBCUs and to teach us about scholarships that we can get for being black my right. minorities for for being first generation we literally were headed to school and then getting um notifications of 50 dollar scholarships 80 dollar scholarships literally uh, 188 dollar scholarships just you know five hundred dollar book scholarship stuff like that and when you get to school the books are how much Tom. Two thousand dollars two thousand dollars so it's th these are things so and i get i i, I don't know I hear what she's I'm, saying. Damn that, I don't something. hear that. Yeah, but this is something that they really tried <laughs> to instill with, in you when you were applying to school. I know for me, they're like, go for scholarships, go for scholarships. I got online every day when I knew that I, you know, when I was a junior in high school, because I was a little dork. So I already was on um, on the way for graduation. <laughs> they already, mm -hmm. you know, so I, um, I applied to so many scholarships. Even with me being as smart as I was, even with me having the GPA that I did, even with me being in so many extracurricular <laughs> programs, I didn't get one of those scholarships. I didn't so get not the, one of those scholarships. Mark S. said you got the EBT scholarship. Tell her, I wish I had the EBT I scholarship. I had <laughs> baby. baby, the hunger, the, the EBT card that It'd I could not get when I was in college. <laughs> The EBT card that I could not get when I was in college. Right, you are Tricky. so right, Trekkie. So many right, HBCUs have to fight 
or to get their ed, um, accreditation renewed. Because it's true. funny, Rebecca. I think that Fam and Cookman were going through it around the same time, and yeah. I know Cookman was going through it for a long time. Yeah. You, but like when I heard about Fam guys. going through it, what'd you say? I said it was a stretch for you guys. It was. I remember it's being, what when I went to go visit, <laughs> they were battling, and then when I went to start my school, they were going through the trying still to still going. It. There was no actual reasons as to why they were saying, "Oh, they didn't pay it on time." I'm like. Something you know, here it is where we know that, and, and, and then I became privy about the issues, um, yeah. that HBCUs get when even trying to just make sure that they're standing. Uh, and we were going through the battle with FSU at the time trying to buy mm. FAMU's property. Um, oh, wow, yeah, that's so much. I, I didn't know B, B went to UCF and she said that, and I remember this scholarship, the Bright Futures, um, in Florida. Oh my god, yes. right? I remember that scholarship, B, that and like I think I applied for it, everybody did. <laughs> yeah, and like, and and I hope they drag this Biggie, girl. You went to school to in Philly. Florida. I feel like I knew this. Central Florida. Well, that's crazy. I I, I don't I so don't think I knew nice, this. I believe. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. I used to love. Man, I love UCF. Boy. I used yeah, to they a lot of my friends. Mm -hmm. You know, the ones that couldn't make it at um at my school, um, they would go down back to the Florida and go to UCF. Um, right. <laughs> But you're Man. right. But B, you're right. You said they don't exist anymore. These are yeah. things that we need to really talk about. And even before us, when we were in school, um, you know, our two generations went to school before us. It was like it was still tough for people to get scholarships. Now, just because like people are saying, oh, I got a scholarship. Is ten dollars really gonna do something for me? Is Hello. this two hundred dollars scholarship really gonna do something for my school? Is, is that really gonna happen? Uh, Sandra right, Schwartz, right, Sandra Sandra. Ford said guidance counselors were a joke at my high school. If you were not in the top tier of sports or grades, yep. they were like join the military. You are so right. Would not and, even discuss going to college. You're right. And I'm gonna tell you. And when I graduated, see, I graduated from from high school in '97. They were talking about seven. scholarship. Not exactly. They would tell us about like a couple of scholarships, but they really didn't talk about it. Like she said, it was only top graded students talk and then athletes. And only mm -hmm. way that I got my scholarship was because Mr. Wells had came in, the band director of, of, of Cookman, of course, came in and gave like was giving out money because he was rebuilding the band program. So that mm -hmm. is the only way I got my scholarship. You see? I applied to Alabama State, and I'm thinking like, okay, cool. Let's see what Alabama State gonna do. Jackson State, five hundred dollars. That's mm -hmm. it. You see? So these How people we talking about scholarships, state? easy man, please. How are we going out of state on uh, out of state on five hundred dollars? What what is that gonna do? So I have no choice but to apply for student loans. I had no choice but to stay and go for as furthest that I can go. Yeah. To and, and and that was FAMU. I got accepted into like five schools. FAMU was my top choice. And it was honestly gonna be my only choice. But I was like, okay, I want to get out. As a little Haitian girl, every little Haitian girl knows the story. We are planning our escapes after being chained to the Haitian system in the household for so long. You ready to go? So I was like, I need to get out of here. And I was like, I want to go to New York, I wanted to go wherever. Um couldn't couldn't do it because it was too expensive. I ended up making it um to the best university ever uh, in Tallahassee, Florida. And that was Florida AM University. But Girl, even up. then, y'all, they were telling me that my father made too much money. And my dad had to come with every dollar dime <laughs> for me to um he had to come up with every dollar dime for me to go to school my first semester. Yeah. Nick Eaton said Wells was giving out money, but we'll hit your ass with a dedu uh, deduction real quick. He really did. That's facts. Yeah, <laughs> he went there too. I'm about to say, Nick, where did you go? Because he know about Mr. Wells. Because when I tell you, Mr. Wells, if we drop the hat on the field, a mouthpiece, anything, it's five hundred dollars off our scholarship. If we did anything wrong or like like higher than that, a thousand dollars off our scholarship. That's why we always look so damn good. Oh wow, he was because like money fam, off you, we know y'all ain't have no like morals or nothing. Y'all was just all over the place. Yeah, so we I so remember all, the we shenanigans y'all used to do. <laughs> yeah, we were so all over the place that we were um everywhere on television and stuff. I don't even remember seeing BCC shenanigans. We actually started the um program for HBCUs amongst uh uh um uh, on those sports channels, ESPN and them. But um, go, but, you know what? but you know what? We don't even need to go there because Prince tapped on <laughs> our not. shoulder for the Super Bowl and actually represented in our colors. But we don't even need to go there. Um, what we're really gonna go into it's is not, um no. a comment that uh actually was said. <laughs> I need people to understand that a lot of these things were given to people. They would look at the black kids. And I told you guys what happened at my school, um, my high school. 
they t- when we went yes, to the, the college tour, they took those football players and put them on the football field because they all were offering them the vision of you can get a scholarship only if you come play for us. Yep. Education isn't really important. We'll give you a scholarship to come play for us. That's really yep. all we need you for. Uh, and that's where that's where a lot of this stuff lied. And I just I for us, it was just like, what about us? What are we going to do? How are we going to get scholarships? How are we going? When I got there. My um, fam, you actually, when I went to the financial aid line, I was like, y'all, my daddy ain't got the money to pay for next semester. So I need like some money. So they were like, well, you're first generation. You actually apply. You know, you actually can get that scholarship. And the lady just did numbers. Because, you know, that's them at the financial aid. Oh, um, what you got? I was like. <laughs> <laughs> And then she looked at me all set. Make sure you take your account in about a week to, to um, no, three, one to three weeks, and it'll be there. Don't worry. We got you all set, ma'am. Thank you. Next. Keep going. <laughs> What's you need, baby? Uh huh. A thousand dollars. Hmm. <laughs> the type just got more fears. <laughs> My fingers hurt. A thousand dollars? Are you not? So did you not? And then they stop and question you. Did you not apply for any scholarships, baby? <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. All right. So all right. So it looks like <laughs> you got seven hundred and fifty dollars due. If you don't get into this class. With the money, they not going to... Okay, all right. So you all set. What you're going to do is X, Y, and Z. Make sure you go online, you sign those papers out. Baby, they got loans and stuff. You just going to have to do what you need to do for education, okay? So um, go ahead and fill out the paper. I'm send it to your email. You're all set. I'm going to go ahead and push it further for you to so you make sure you can do. You can stay in class for the next two weeks. You don't want to lose your seat. You don't want to lose your seat. All right, baby. Have a good one. I'm going to see you next week. You're going to be all right. Be right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing I loved about Cutman, you know, because it was a smaller school, you knew the majority of the staff. I know fam, y'all are big. And I know you you still got some of that relationship with we some of the staff members. Still, it was crazy the, though. It's that crazy. It was so big. Yes, your school was a dot. But the family That's all right. I love my little school. dot. <laughs> I didn't know that I could know everybody in my class. And I right. knew everybody in my class. <laughs> like we would see each other and we would really get together and we would really just like, it's your picture. Is that my picture? <laughs> it was. You know, what I forgot you? that we was emojis on Twitch. Yeah. I didn't know we were emojis. Why didn't you tell me we were emojis? You didn't know. Oh, somebody drop all our emojis, please, on Twitch. So David, you put it see. up. Oh my God, I need to see. And when the emojis come up, David, I want to David see. David, yeah. But no, yo, yo, Sam, you was a big school, but it's crazy how we got to know all of each other. Yeah. Uh, in our classes and. Uh, shout out to Soul Train, who used to be on the set, man. Look, you see it? Look, look, look. Oh my God! Is that that's big head ass man? Wait, what mind that fest the best? You supposed to put me up? Okay, there you go. Thank you. Look, I love it so much. You guys made us emoji, bro. That is crazy. That's cool as hell. (laughs) And let me talk. Let me actually give you guys a shout out. I want to give each and every one of you guys a shout out in the Twitch world, in the Discord world, on Facebook, on YouTube, on. All of our YouTube channels, um, you know, uh, on Twitter, on Instagram, we have so much, so many spaces and places yeah. where you guys are actually rocking with us. And I'm talking about by the thousands. And I need you guys to, like, I'm looking in the camera right now, by the thousands, we have so many of you guys who support us. Um, oh, sorry, guys, Bill Collectors is calling. <laughs> Them loan companies that ain't getting the money from me. Okay, but, hello. <laughs> but um, I want to thank you guys. Uh, yeah, so uh, you guys know I was up for this uh, award. Um, I am up for this award. I was a semifinalist nominee for in the creative cre- Haitian Creative Digital Awards. Yeah. Um, and it, it's a digital um, award show that was created about four years ago, and it actually got really popular because of a lot of the people who were being nominated, who have big platforms. I would like to think of ours and myself, our show, as a huge platform, especially for Black people in this space. Um, And honestly, yesterday I saw some, uh, I, you know, we were doing great. 
and I saw some uh, sketchy things happening. Um, and I had to, you know, with the other contestants who were just lying. I actually felt really, really good, y'all, about so much support that I was getting these votes. I'm like, wow, I'm getting hundreds and hundreds of votes from so many people. Y'all really love me. I really mess with me. Y'all really like love what I do. I really respect that. And to be a Haitian American in this space doing it and um, being recognized by my fellow people, it's great. Long story short, I called Bubba up. I called my sister. I called my brother. I called Ben. I called and I was like, y'all, it's some strange stuff happening. Um, I feel like there's some weird stuff happening on this side of the voting area. I was just up hundreds of, of votes. And now I'm down hundreds. And I realized that I, 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 that I hit up the people and I was like, there's something sketchy happening. They were like, oh, people are, you know, voting multiple times. I'm like, well, why wasn't I privy to any of that? Bubba, I called Bubba. Bubba called me back. Bubba was like, what you said, Bubba? He's like, they got, they wrestled with the wrong one. They no, they with got, the wrong they, one. He said they got the game effed up. They got the game effed up. <laughs> Bubba didn't even say hello yet. He said they got the game effed up. <laughs> they got the game effed up. Then turned around, I called Ben. Ben was like, oh, don't even say no more. Say no more. I, like, we going to, it's handled. Like, it's handled. Like, it's, it's, it's whatever. I called my brother. My brother was like, are you kidding me, Rebecca? I said, I just want to make sure we have honest folks. He's like, honest, these nuts. Like, people are, <laughs> people are terrible. Yeah. And we're going to, like, you sit back and let us handle everything. So they started drumming up together, people bringing them together. And like voting constantly and voting on my behalf. And then all of you guys took to the social media and y'all were voting on my behalf. You guys were going in, sending screenshots of the votes. You guys were hitting me up. And, and then on Instagram, I got so much in. I mean, you guys actually love me. And for me to sit here, that's one of the best parts of my 2020 is 21 as well. To me to sit here and just yeah. know that a lot of my work, a lot of my time here with you guys has been spent where you guys actually, like we became a family. You guys love what I do. You guys love how I do it. I thank you for that. And it showed from the major, major support that I got over a thousand more votes <laughs> within two hours. <laughs> a thousand more? A thousand, over a thousand more. Girl, we ran that numbers up. <laughs> I cannot believe it. And on top of that, Q, shout out to you as well. Look, <laughs> uh, Melinda, my sister, I just want to thank you. I haven't even won yet, but I just want to thank you. Um, Robinson, my brother, Pasito, my brother, Jonas, my brother, you know, to all the people just really out there, like really, um, do really love me. I so appreciate you. I love you. Voting is now closed, but I thank you guys so much for doing it with me. That was me. Um, Boom. It was great. It was honestly such a good, it, it was cool. It, just this being a digital award, but it's for me, it may not be big to everybody, but for me, it's big for me. I've gotten so many other awards, but this one, because it's in my community. So to be recognized in my community, because Haitians don't be recognized, folks. Like if you ain't, right. if you ain't really good, they ain't really going to recognize you. So just, just to be um, recognized by my own community, it means a lot to me. So thank you guys. Yeah. Agreed. And it's going to be a real thank you speech. It's going to be really extra with the fur coat um, when I when I win. <laughs> Give me big Aretha Franklin vibes. Oh, yeah, Walk you know, I'm going to be like, watch me, thank you. And here come, uh, who was uh, uh, who was right beside her in that picture? And she just it was Patty. <laughs> Patty. <laughs> Patty tried to reach out. She said, girl, do not touch the fur. Mm -mm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Can't stand I said, oh my God, Aretha, look, Riri. Aretha, girl. Aretha was like, uh-uh, there ain't no patty over here. Ain't no patty. It ain't no patty okay. over here. There's no patty over here. So, um, uh, Marquez, don't forget to thank Pookie, Ray Ray, and Big Steven, though. No, in, 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 in my culture, they're not called. They call um, Dada. Um, they call Son Son. They call Den Den. They call... <laughs> They called Tika, they called uh, Sasu, they called Jojo, they called, those are the names, Tonton, they called Tati, Tonton. they called, you know, Papi, they called Mommy, that's that's how we say it, <laughs> it ain't Pookie and Ray Ray and Del. <laughs> right. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, so what are your New Year's plans, Baba? Sure, KFZ is stupid. Um, I will be DJing the patron party. That are that is my oh, new year man. plan. I'll be right here in the house spinning for y'all from 10 to 1, maybe 2. Depends on how the night is going. Hey, you know how I feel. The more you tip, the longer I stay. 
it's New Year's Eve, man. So y'all come ready to party. Let me. I gotta go get my uh my little New Year's hat, the little glasses. It's about to have a fun time. Go get them now. Whole club. Remember last year when we went shopping and um around the holidays, I tried to go to the Dollar Tree, tried to get my New Year stuff. Twenty twenty one had nothing left. They done stripped <laughs> really? so Nothing. But I got so I went and got my twenty twenty two gear early on. I got my hat. I got things like that. So Alicia, you gonna be within? You gonna do NYE with the fam? Great, cause I won't be there. Um, and looking good doing it. You know he gonna be looking good. Okay, doing it. B, you know. I got my little shirt that I'm about to put on. It's I mean it's gonna be a white shirt just like this, yeah. but it's cute though that I got for Christmas. I might pop in, um, just for you guys to see my outfit for the evening. And right. Oh, um, and Alicia meant us. Oh, you gonna spend time I with us? us. Okay. I said I won't be there. I said I won't be there. Oh, child, she gonna pop in but, at least uh, for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all better make sure y'all get y'all tickets. It is tickets. There ain't no tickets. It's gonna sell out now. Tonight, out. tonight, tonight. You better make sure you pull up. And get, that's the one. New and Year's only. Eve, twenty twenty two is going down. Bing bong. <laughs> Bing bong. What do you gotta say to Joe Biden? You ain't this shit. Hey. <laughs> hey yo, take me to dinner. <laughs> Bean bone, what you gotta say to Kamala Harris? Where you been at? Hope. Where you been at? <laughs> <laughs> KFC, what you say? 10 man folks gonna show up already drunk and sleepy. Man, New Year's Eve is at 12 a.m. 10 o'clock is the good time. <laughs> Listen, I need you start to- drinking at 10. There was this ritual that we used to do in our church. I don't know. Whatever I told you, I'm Haitian. So watch things, night. things might be watch night, right? But things might be a little weird when we say them because Haitians, we incorporate a lot of things into our, our Christianity. It's weird. Um, but <laughs> we would take letters about what we wanted for ourselves. Um, mm. and we'll take two. We'll take one that was things that did, weren't positive. We'll write okay. that down on a piece of paper, we'll burn that and send it up. And then we, um, it was like a bonfire we would do all the time, every year. And then mm-hmm. we would take what we wanted for God to do for us, what we wanted the year to look like, just positive things moving forward. We would write those down and then we would burn those and send them up as well. So it was goodbye to one and hello to an, an, a new one. We would make sure we set the atmosphere with it. And I was like, oh, maybe I should do that. And then set this house on fire? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. But that would be something that um, if I, you know, would I, I would I would definitely do that. Just write down a couple of things that I want to send away with 2021 and write down a few things that I want to uh, see 2020, 2022 in. Um, and I think 2022 is really going to be a good year. 22 is um, my angel number. So I believe nice. I'm not saying it's going to be my year because I want to share beautiful moments with everyone. And I want us all to have a, such a, an amazing year. We were learning how to maneuver through this thing. Not the best we can, but the best we can. Um, and I hope that 2022 really provides uh, just good spirits, good energy for each and every one of us. Um, I might, you don't know, I might, I might have a ring on my finger in 2022. Look at my hand. Damn, my hands are long. But I might it's have saying- a ring. <laughs> I might have a ring on my finger 2022. Who knows? Right. No. Okay. No. This one. This 2022, one. girl. Let's get it. This is the All left right. hand. We're gonna be yeah. ring. You're yeah. not wiggling the right finger. Okay. <laughs> you know what? Fine. Okay, so is there is there anything that you want us to cover, David? Because I don't need you like saying, oh, I'm not in Slack. Let me go there. Right. And then Mark S talking about people gonna be so faded, they're gonna be calling for Uber from home at the pager party. Right. <laughs> All right, so I gotta go. My Uber's at the door. My you Uber home, outside. You girl, are you home. home. Girl, you home. David. Hey, David. Good morning. Good morning. David, we see you. You was red. What's up? Right. I was red. You were oh, you were ready. so we said, yeah, ready. Oh, you read? Yeah, uh, uh, I was ready. <laughs> oh, okay. I was wondering too, David. I was like, red. I'm looking at David. I'm like, you don't look red. I <laughs> no, I look white, white. Oh, Actually, white. David, you don't. You look white. like you're biracial a little bit. <laughs> yeah, no, he's giving me the white, um, but with the uh, biracial. She's biracial. She's giving me the, the biracial beard, and um, yeah. 
Yeah, no, I think I couldn't come on earlier because they're drilling outside my window. So I figured I'd pop on right now before oh, the drilling right. starts well, you again. And you can't hear me See, again. we handle business. We you did, did you did done, Mr. I, I didn't have doubt I, I I don't doubt now what you know when, when other people are no I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> talk your <yes>, David, <laughs> David. Talk <yes. laughs> anyway while I'm on I just want to thank everybody it has been a crazy year like Rebecca said back in, in to, right in the beginning of the stream it's like things have just changed so much on the show and oh, yeah. 2021 was Bigger dumpster fire than 2020. Um, uh, but but yeah. <laughs> for, for, so it was a good year for you, Rebecca? It wasn't the best, but it wasn't the worst. No, okay. Yeah, it wasn't <laughs> the worst. <laughs> it wasn't the worst. 2022 might beat it out yet. <laughs> wow. All right. Saying? But let's let's hope not. Let's hope what? not. Let's hope. David, see, this is why I, I'm not this getting good vibes from 2022. I'm going to be real, but I'm going to stay positive and hope. <laughs> okay. So, you know what? We're going to, everybody. Who is watching? Reach out and send good vibes over to David for me, please, because we haven't even gotten to 2022 yet, and he already claiming it not to be good. So what we're gonna? I'm not do saying right it's now, not going to be good. I'm you just. Said, but you're you not. Know. You're saying, but you can't say that either. You're saying that you're not getting good vibes. It hasn't even came yet. So we're gonna we're gonna say for 2022, David 2022 is gonna turn around. It's gonna be great because he ain't even in it already it, uh, yet. So <laughs> your 2022 is. Gonna I mean, be it's great. gonna be good. I'm getting a new apartment at some point. I don't know if it's gonna be before the new year because you know people are slacking. But um, yeah, mm -hmm. right. Because you gotta start bringing Bay over, okay, in this new apartment, okay. So whatever, we, we it's all gonna be good. David's going to be in a relationship, and the relationship does not define who you are. You can have three or four relationships. I don't know if you're a polygamist. I don't know what you do in your life. But whatever relationship that you want, you're going to get in 2022. Better, like, money's coming in. You know, mm. all this good stuff is coming in for you, right? Become a patron. It's, it's all Become a patron. <laughs> and better yet, like, if, if anybody out there watching, you know, another distribution would be good, too. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about it. Let's talk Let's about it. it. We, we got the pen ready. All right, we're ready. Okay. But the, hmm. the boss is not here, so I'm gonna sign all the checks. <laughs> Let's go. I sign the checks. Send them to look, DM us if you're trying to work with us. No, seriously though. Um, I think that 2022 is gonna bring us better, bigger, and better anyway. I think we've been doing really good um holding down the show. We got people like you, we got people like Dwayne, we have great um um journalists on the show, Georgia Ford. Um, we have great guests on the show that come on. Uh, Olay, who is like literally the best thing to ever happen to Twitter. A lawyer yes. who is badass. The best thing to happen to Twitter who is our best friend to the show. We have Pascal, who is our cousin to the show. You know, we have so many great people who have came through here, blessed us. We have Cliff Albright. Like, this mm, is the place yes. to be. So if you thought it was good in last year, just Shout out know, to all the friends. Yeah, all of the friends of the Lion family. And, you know, if you thought it was good last year or this current year imagine what it's going to look like in 2022 so if your grandmother isn't a patron yet you know what to do you know what mm -hmm. to do you know what to do <laughs> patron, you know, you know, play in 2022. <laughs> oh we can't forget about dr mac brother mm. mac the mac is back baby where the is mac, mac? Is back. Where is Mac? Listen, okay, y'all so right. I don't even know how I forgot about that. Hey, yes, I did, Festy hey, Bestie. I, I think I think Mac. what needs to happen is I think um everybody needs to be damn nope, see the cover nope. camera off. They nope. already knew they need to put that picture up of Dr. Matt, you know, just like for uh purposes that everybody can remember what he looked like. Oh, <laughs> Oh, well, I, I don't think he looks like that anymore. He probably did more, um, you know, more workout. To... You think you look more chiseled in there? He Rebecca? probably is giving a little bit of chiseled right now. More. Yes, indeed. Because how he <laughs> just came out of being chiseled for like, like he, we didn't see him for like a month and he came back and it was like. Right. It's like, damn, Magic Mike. <laughs> hey, 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 daddy. Hey, 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 dad. That's what it was giving. But it was giving that zaddy. It was giving daddy with a Z. It was hey, okay, hey, zaddy. Hey, daddy. Yeah. Made the um, zaddy vibes. It was giving me grand zaddy. It wasn't Industrial even great. It was, was going on. It was Dr. Uncle Thirst daddy. Trap. It was Uncle Zaddy vibes. Uncle and zaddy. for me to be talking about Dr. Mac like that, it's inappropriate. But it right. Is, but he loved it. Hey, <laughs> sister <laughs> Azor. Queen Azor. Queen Azor. <laughs> No, Queen of Zor. <laughs> it's somebody on the show that looks good and it ain't two of the men. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> like, yo, I don't know how to feel. <laughs> you know what? 
Queen of Zoids, it's, it's 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 your smile today. Uh, B, I'm not putting that on screen. <laughs> <laughs> We're not putting it on screen. I need you guys to take me off a of full screen. Neil. Oh, I'm waiting for you. Oh, oh wait. Let me go get my camera from my battery. Oh, my God. James. James, we've been waiting forever. But no. Um, we can't feel the buster forever. Come on, well, now. Dr. Mac, honestly, was a, a very um, a special part of the show. He brought something that no, like, he brought his, he brought his intelligence. Um, he brought his voice. He brought his personality. The fact that Dr. Mac was cussing out senators on our show, right? He did not <laughs> care. He was calling people out, and for me to sit here in my seat and tell people to call a thing a thing, and you know who was going to step in Dr. Mac's way, way because he was calling a thing a thing, no matter who you were, what you looked at, like what seat you sat in. If we're going to say we're going to hold people yeah. accountable, we're going to hold people accountable, and Dr. Mac did just that and in the same breath he loved on us he loved on us something crazy if we said something happened to us he's like who did it okay who did it do you need us to roll up look I'm charlie like, kirk <laughs> like it kirk. or not <laughs> <laughs> yeah and it's crazy you see everybody in the comment section actually had that relationship with him too he had so many words you, that he used so many like cool things that he said it was just like yeah, then we had Benjamin P. Dixon. Ooh. Our, our boss. Dang. Why can't do it like that? David, I'm back, David, if you want to bring me on. Our, oh, our boss, Benjamin P. Dixon, who uh, who went through the I got trenches. too many little things that are, were blocking you. Sorry, sorry. Uh. <laughs> who went, I know. But who went through the trenches with us? And, um, you know, we went through the trenches with him. But the fact that this man um, shut down... Bloomberg during the pandemic while, <laughs> he was running, while, while he was running for, and we're talking about Michael B Bloomberg. If you wonder why he um, is at, was out of the race and all this other stuff, Ben did that single-handedly. Benjamin P. Dixon did that all by himself. Yeah, and, Ben has um, taken he he, he he could I mean he could have at least signed off I guess, but I'm not gonna throw too much shade. No, he's he's taken some well-deserved mental time and family time. Yeah, but he's done and. Uh, He's done so many great things for us, um, you know, in this space. But he took that opportunity to decide to build. Those are and mine. I think those are TYTs. To build and re. That's crazy. What's going on in David's background? Okay, um, it's okay. He, it was like, <laughs> okay, it's um, giving full New York vibes. It was giving us street, street <laughs> to New York. Uh, but Ben definitely took time out to build and rebuild, and the fact that he reached back and was like, hey, Rebecca, we need to do something. We need yeah. to, we need to, you know, and I'm like, well, Ben, the people want us to come back together with like it or not. It was like, well, let's, let's, I'm, I'm inviting you to onto the show. Uh, so, you know, Ben, re oh, Ben really <laughs> did what needed to be done. And he really came back, pulled us into the mix and he never yeah. let us go. And I appreciate him for introducing me to you, Bubba. Yeah. Um, and, um, I love you guys. Oh, we love you too, Rebecca. And you know, shout out to Big Head Ass Ben for everything that he's done because he has uh he got some, <laughs> he got some got some got some stuff here. I will say, man, he got some stuff here, and I appreciate him for everything. And like you said, like you said, Rebecca, if not, I wouldn't have met any of the people that I've met and started a bond like I have with all y'all. I appreciate y'all. Like nobody's business, and okay. uh, I. You know, it's it's been good, and it's gonna even be it's gonna be better. Ben is taking a much needed holiday break. Um, we've been trying to send him off to do his thing for for literally like a year and a half, and now he's mm -hmm. finally made it out. You know, to go rest and be with his family, um, and that's what we're gonna do as well. Um, it is our last show of the year. Um, I know that you guys are going to be at the Patreon party. I might pop up and give you guys a happy new year um, and celebrate with you guys. But till we meet again, I love you guys so much. Stay safe. Right. Oh, or, and, real, and shout out to Dwayne too, man. Dwayne be doing well, his thing. I forgot about Dwayne. I'm yeah. Dwayne, yeah, I forget about everybody, but I, I absolutely love Dwayne. Um, yeah. I really do. That's my dog. He's so... He's so funny. It's the fact yeah. that he, you know, when he pops in, he pops in. Like as far as when he, like when nobody's here, he definitely makes his way into the like that, except not white. 
Yeah, they they be like, <laughs> right. They was like, y'all not gonna be talking about Dwayne. It's hey, David is here. <laughs> David, we David, you too. But Dwayne does. But I'm having a hard time because of my background. Right. <laughs> he tried to. He hates it. <laughs> See if we had noise cancellation mics. I mean, we didn't have to worry about it. Wow. I need some of that egg foam on my walls, but I don't know if that would cancel it out. It would not that day, but that's like a full construction site outside your window. Somebody said Wreck It Ralph is out there getting it, <laughs> getting it like nobody's business. Um, but David, <laughs> David and Dwayne, shout out to you guys. Dwayne, I hope the baby's doing well. It's crazy because we we really watched Dwayne grow and. In- Become a father, right? like really, like, like dead. That, that was amazing. Him, yeah, that he they, they were trying, and then they had they you know they um they finally got pregnant, and we were like, oh my god, it's so crazy, and they're like, we had to keep it a secret, and Ben yeah. almost messed up the secret on air. Oh, so. <laughs> oh my god, and then you know we kept it more of a secret, and then finally we told the world when when Dwayne was like the baby was like four hours old. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. I just had it baby. was such a beautiful thing to see that girl. <laughs> okay. so, so much growth. So much growth. Shout out to Dwayne. We and, love you too, man. And we can't forget Toon Day. Toon Day come through and do his thing. Oh, and, uh, Toon Day well comes too. through. We haven't seen Toon Day though. We are ready. I'm ready to see what Toon Day look like. Yeah, exactly. Toon Day is like... seriously the voice of God. Like... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's funny because Toon Day, um, you know, Toon Day, and he's, as we know, Toon Day will, will come on here and then he started interjecting and yeah. saying his piece and it was beautiful it was, i love that exactly. on this particular show we give everybody the ability to speak because everybody has a voice you know we pass the mic for them to have the conversation and especially because everybody knows a little something that we may not know yeah. um and they'll add their their their, their um conversation piece in it and it, and it becomes such a great moment that our producers are in on the story we're in on the story like it's great. I love it. Billboard Bear, he is your doppelganger. Oh, God. Is somebody perpetrating me? It's like they use me on the apps, too. It's okay. It's a thing. <laughs> I love y'all, and I feel about you enough. I've made it to 1006. What y'all want from me? Oh, dang. It is 1006. What you I'm, really try, I'm trying to just me? say thank you to everybody, but this damn drill. <laughs> Just say it's okay. You can make it, baby. I I appreciate everybody. I I really special shout out to Ben, to Rebecca, to James, Dwayne, and uh, the patrons because everybody everybody has a part in this and makes this show possible. So I appreciate everybody. Yeah. Likewise, and shout out to our moderators as well too. Chuck Diesel, Pixie on the Moon, uh, Sammy. Who who else on Twitch? I forgot. I uh, forgot. And Act TV. Shout out to Act. Shout out Act TV. Shout Love out to y'all. Act TV. Our partnership with Act TV. Um, it was beautiful for us to reveal to the kids that we were now partnered with the Acts of TV, uh, yeah. and we were part <laughs> of the Acts of TV. Shout out to Act TV, though. Seriously, um, and everyone else who has. You know, partnered with us for whatever reason, but y'all think that we good. We think we a little something, something. So, and shout out to everybody who's gonna partner with us next year too. I can't Let's wait. See. You know it's what? Rain, next year, I, that's what I need everybody to reach out hands to y'all screen right now and bless abundance right there and prosperity right there. To the Benjamin Dixon show on the clock, like it or not, all of us back here, y'all. We want it all. We want Let's it all. It. And we're we taking it all. Get, well, they say, I want it all. it all back, and we're taking it all back. Okay, Everything hello. that they stole from me, I want it all. I want it all back. Yeah, no, we're definitely. We're, Shut up. I love it. We, we we really we put that energy out there. We put that spirit out there. We put into the atmosphere abundance for the show. Abundance is yes. actually a great word for 2022. So we're gonna say abundance. abundance. 2022. Look, everybody in the chat, because we in church now. Everybody in the chat, type up abundance 2022. Hashtag lion abundance 2022. Hashtag lion. I I want everybody to have abundance. I love you guys. We're at the end of the show. Yeah, Bubba, man. Is there anything else that you want to say to the people? Man, thank y'all so much for like lifting me up, being there, and just like, hey, greatly appreciate y'all, man. Love y'all, mean it. And we will see you. Damn. Too. Uh, that's crazy. Damn that man. is so crazy because we were still on here. We didn't really. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. I, in order for me to do it like B roll, I, I, I'd need more time and 
because StreamYard is StreamYard. It's okay. I love I, you, I, 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 didn't, I wasn't trying. I wasn't trying to interrupt you. I was just yeah, trying yeah, to Dang, Sandy. That was we appreciate you, Sandy. Shout out to Sandy who just sent us a hundred dollar super chat. Sandy, I wish you would have cast that to us, but it's okay. Right, thank you, Sandy. 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 Ding, okay. ding. ding, ding, ding. And thank That's you, Laura Estrada, as well, too, for your super chat, man. We appreciate y'all. And if you guys want to give directly, yes, you can definitely reach us at our cash apps. I am Becca's voice, B E C C A S V O I C E. What are you, DJ Exclusive? DJ X3C, Cash App and Venmo. Yeah, so hit hit us up on the Cash App as well, Becca's voices. We don't again, we don't get these um, what are these called? Super chats until yeah. like God knows when, and they do snatch <laughs> the percentage of it. But and don't forget David. David's is DKG eighty seven. DKG eighty seven. DKG87, Becca's voice, and DJX3C. I love you guys. All so right, much. stream elements. Okay, stream elements. Okay, okay, stream elements. Okay. Okay. Let's get it. Okay. <laughs> but I love you guys so much. And um, I definitely want to see you guys in the new year. I love you. Love y'all. Mean it. And we'll Hi. see y'all Friday at the patron party, y'all. And it's the end out the year. Why not drop them with a song? Oh, wait a minute. So David bring me on. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Y'all know what time it is. Good morning, y'all. Get your coffee and tea. Drink, 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 drink. We all It's hell. <laughs> 9 a.m. to 10 30, yeah. Like it or not, it's on your channel, yeah. Politics and culture is we change skin like we're supposed to, yeah. Interviews and all the news, we get to choose what gets the views. Like it or not, with Queen of Zoe, it's starting now, so stick around. Like it or not, it's gone. It's coming through. You know she got a good story for you. Oh, this the man that's my dog. This is his show. He's a politics pro. DJ exclusive, y'all know who I am. I stay dropping in jams. Like it or not, it's going down. Like it or not, y'all stick around. Oh.